Hey guys, it's your girl here. Okay, I look a whole mess, but don't you hate when like you go to do something like really quick, like to the gym. Like I went to the gym today and um, I just blew my hair out and I didn't want to mess it up. So I just put my little pink curls in it. And then I realized I needed to come to Walmart so I can get some stuff to create my vision board, guys. And so, I wanted to get some stuff. And I don't, I look a whole mess right now. I gotta put on some lip gloss at least. But yes. So, when you come out and you're like, oh, I'm just gonna go to the gym. And then you realize you gotta go somewhere else. And it's literally like 80 degrees outside, but I decided that because it's still January, I still need to wear a coat. Dress for the season, not the weather, because then next week it's gonna be snowing and then y'all gonna be looking crazy. Um, when y'all got some type of cold or something. But I am in Wally World, better known as Walmart. Well, you can decorate your house. You can get some food. You can buy a tree. You can get some school supplies. You can buy fish, like, you can buy makeup. You can buy toys. You can buy furniture. And I am very much so turned around. Where am I going? Oh, I need to go in housewares because that is where I am going to use my stuff, guys. Yeah, that's for um, ooh, curtains, curtains. Um, oh, I was looking for some um, mugs. It's so many because I've been working out now, guys, and I don't even like to talk about it right now because I've only been working out for two weeks, two or three weeks. So I don't like to talk about it until I know like I'm gonna really be consistent. <laughs> So all y'all be putting y'all goals up. I'm in the gym, first day of the year, and then you don't see nothing else the rest of the year. Like, I'm not trying to be that this year. So, this will probably be the first and the only time that you'll hear me say anything about the gym, just because I ain't about that. Like, I need, I need results. I need to, this year, I want to live a healthy and wealthy life. And so, it starts with me eating right and thinking right. Like, all of that. Mental health. Um, emotional health, um, physical health, and then wealth, you know, because ain't no point of having a whole bunch of money and you sick up in the bed, hospital bed. Like, anybody got time for that? So, yes, I just left the gym. I've been going strong almost, not almost, I've been going strong every day. I did miss yesterday because I had a client in the evening and I was for, I was literally going to go to the gym after I did her hair, but I realized that the gym, I forgot that the gym closed early on Fridays and Saturdays, so whatever. Um, I'm looking at these mugs and stuff. I just don't like really, I see people in the, around and they carry like these ginormous things. Like that's just not, that's just, it just doesn't make sense for me. I, Cause I need something that can fit in my cup holder in my car too but I still need it to have enough water in it you know and somebody was telling me about somebody that had one that like had like the times on it like what you're supposed to drink by what time like they have like um, 8 o'clock 12 o'clock like stuff like that so if somebody has that and you want to bless me with it I'll let you girl because they don't have it. And I ain't got time to be trying to order nothing. So for right now, until I make a decision, I am gonna get what I came in here for. See, this is what Walmart does. They trick you because they have so much stuff. So you come in here, you're like, oh, I need some socks. Oh, you know what? I need an ice cream scooper. And you, all you came in here was for some toilet tissue. That is how they get you. They are genius. Geniuses. Um, if Amazon had a store, they may have one. I just don't know about it. 
I mean, it would probably be crazy. It would probably be a line out of the door every day. Because Amazon, you can get everything on Amazon. Um, let's see. So I am looking for some liners, guys, because this is what I'm going to use on my board for my nice board, um, the background. And so this is just um, surface liners, guys. And they, they're sticky, so you can just put it, stick it right on the back of your, um, on your board, on your frame, whatever you're using, to just make it look really nice. Now, they didn't show me something like, I had no idea that, that you can make your tabletops look like that. And this, okay, this is giving me some ideas. Okay. But I wanted like a marble type look and I don't see a marble look. Like I see this black one. Like I like this black one, but I kind of wanted it to be more white with black veins instead of black with white veins. Uh, and I don't want Paisley. That's not me. I don't want Paisley. Uh, what am I gonna get? Cause I need to like do this. And I kinda like these little, this little design, but I'm not really sure. Um, and I don't really wanna change my theme. Wait guys, wait, 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 wait. Okay, here's one. I like that. I think that looks kind of cool. So that's that one. And then, but it's a different, it's a different texture. It's not the tape. It's actually like a high. It's actually like a shelf liner. What do y'all think, guys? Let me know. Um, what am I gonna go with? I think because this is oh um, uh, I mean this one is cool guys this one actually looks like um a backsplash so if you're doing like a little DIY product project and you don't want to spend money on tile there you go see I'm helping you guys out all around now I think I'm gonna go with this I have a problem with doing this guys if I find something that's not really what I want then I end up getting it and not liking it and then taking it back like anybody that knows me knows that I can be very indecisive so I'm really being honest because I don't tell people that all the time <laughs> um, shoot but I really want this sticky let me go to the frames first and then I'll see if based on the frame that I get will I ooh trash cans told you told you trash cans trash cans why do trash cans have to be so expensive you're only putting trash in them why do they have to be so dog expensive I need this for the salon, for my home salon, guys. When I do foils and things like that, because the little trash can that I do have, um, it ain't it, not anymore. Because it was so small, because when I was at the salon, ooh, look at this. Ah, look at that marble look. I love the look of marble. I just feel like it just looks so rich and royal and love it. So maybe I'll, no, because I need a top. See, I'm getting distracted, guys. Okay, so I need a trash can with a top with a lid on it. Because my trash can I have now is really cute. It's like this cute little gold trash can, but it doesn't have a top on it. And... I only had it because at the time I was only doing 
extensions at my house so I didn't really need anything else but now that I am officially self-employed and yeah so now I need like a real trash can um you know state board trash can <laughs> state board qualified so let's see um what do, do y'all see what I've seen? Do you see the issue that I'm having? They have a ton of trash cans. Like, they literally have shelves and shelves of trash cans. Who knew that trash cans were so important? Oh, Lord. I've been on this aisle for 10 minutes because I really don't want to spend $80 on the trash can. I'll be back, trash kids. I'll be back. So, let me go. For, oh, they have Christmas stuff on sale. You know, this is the time to get Christmas things because they go on clearance, and then for the next year, you can have them, and you can you can just continue to keep your stuff and build on what you have, opposed to spending all of it at once in one year. And that's that's what I normally do. So I'm trying to. Um, let you guys know that that's not a good thing to do because Christmas decorations because you get into the holiday spirit and you're like oh I want this tree oh I need this other tree oh I need another wreath I need and then next thing you know you have spent three hundred dollars on oh why did I come on this aisle this is the wrong aisle why did I come on it um Come on, look at this stuff. I love, I love rose gold. I love little cute little, oh, I love this stuff. And it's only a dollar. It's a dollar and 93 cents. This would be cute to put some stuff in, like my combs or brushes. Okay, stop it, stop it, stop it. Let's go. Where are the frames? I need frames frames picture frames picture frames picture frames guys why am I so confused in this store um, you know what I always do I find a worker because I'm just not patient to be just walking up all these trillion or trillions of Walmart house um, let me see here. And I'm literally going the same way I went. And oh, I see a worker. Yes. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me. Where, hi, where are your picture frames? Oh, thank you. <laughs> so they were literally on the same aisle I was walking. Why didn't I just look? Oh, here we go. Picture frames. Yes, 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 yes. Like I have a cork board, but I feel like I want to do something else because I want it, when I see it, I want it to be like aesthetically pleasing to my eye and I want it to look good and I want to feel good when I'm looking at my vision board. And I, so that's why I want it to be in the frame. And then I also saw this other girl do it and it was really cute. And I was like, thank you, girl. Her name is, she's another YouTuber. What is her name? Erin On Demand. So if you want to look at hers, go on Erin On Demand on YouTube. I shouted you out, Erin. Oh, but anyway, um, yes. So now I have my frame. So now I have to figure out what um what color do I want? Do I want a black black casing? Or do I want this little wood washed wood look looks good? Mm. Hmm. No, not with that, not with that marble look. 
Okay. Let's see. That's a little skinny. Mm. I need a good size one because I got some goals this year. I got some real goals this year. I think this will be good. What y'all think? I think that's good. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Now we buy the mirrors. Oh, you can't ever not want to be in the mirror. I mean, you can't even see me. I'm like doing a whole long pose and you can hardly even see anything. But you can do it this way. The thing is in the way. I got my little workout gear. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, anyway. Um, I never bought that. Let's get let me get out of the mirrors out because the mirror out will get me in trouble as well. Cause I love nice mirrors. I'm still looking at these frames just to make sure that I pick the right one. The one that I like the most. And yeah, so we're good. So now guys, let's go back over to the paper and then I'm gonna decide which one I want. Um, where, 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 where? Oh, right here. All right, so let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, guys. So, I think... I think I'm going to go with this. I mean, because at the end of the day, I don't think it's going to show that much because... The stuff is going to be over it. You know what I'm saying? So, the stuff is going to be over it. If the stuff is going to be over it, it's not really going to make a deal, big deal. Um, let's see. This isn't... This isn't a wide one. Let's see if I can get a wider one. Then I won't have to cut it as much. Haha. -ha. Yes, yes. I think I got what I need. Yay! So guys, I got what I need. I got this paper, and I think it's gonna be good. I do have a glue gun if I wanna glue it down to make it like more flush. But I just don't know. I want it to be flat. <laughs> Guys, this is the story of my life. Like I'm, you're walking with me on this journey because this is my life all the time. I'm always going back and forth, let me see. I won't say always, but I do it a lot. I feel like if I went to another Walmart, they would have, they would have it. They would have what I need. They would have a marble one. Now, do I even see a picture of a marble one? No, I just think that by faith that they have it. And I think I should just wait and get the one that I really want. That's Today, since I'm not eating fried foods, I couldn't get the waffle fries, so you know my whole soul is like upset. But you know, I just have to do what I had to do. I had to compromise, and it's not really a compromise, but I had to get the mac and cheese. If you have not had the mac and cheese yet, your whole life is missing out, okay? Like, your whole life. And if you don't have the rewards, if you don't get the rewards at Chick-fil-A, then you're definitely missing out because you are not getting all the perks um, and everything. And they give you the, I got the grilled sandwich because I'm not eating fried food, but they give you this nice sauce if you've never, I don't know if y'all can see that. The honey roasted barbecue. Yeah, that sauce is lit. But this is what I'm going to say. Today, I had the worst experience at Chick-fil-A. I can say out of all the years I've been going to Chick-fil-A, I can probably count on one hand minus three fingers, you know, how many times I've had a bad experience at Chick-fil-A. But today, 
the line was wrapped, I mean wrapped around the building. Both lanes were full. So I get my order and she didn't tell me, I didn't want fries, but she didn't tell me that macaroni and cheese was an upcharge, which I was like, what? Why did you tell me? Um, so she didn't tell me, but you know, it's okay, whatever. Cause I'm still gonna get it because it was either that or fruit and I like their fruit cups, but I just don't like everything in the fruit cup, so yeah. And then, so I just got the mac and cheese. Oh, I could've just got a chicken sandwich and a drink. But what fun is that without getting a combo? So, the macaroni and cheese, sorry, I already ate some. It's the bomb. If you have not had it, they got like a little, like a little crunch on the top of it. Mmm, girl. I can't even eat all this right now, like. I just gotta put the top on, cause I just can't do it. I can't eat all that right now. I gotta eat my chicken sandwich. Now my chicken sandwich, every sandwich that I get, if it's a burger, or if it's some, if it's some kind of sandwich, I gotta have extra pickles on it. Like I'm a pickle fan. If you don't like pickles, I'm sorry. You are like missing out on life. Yes, so my sandwich has sauce on it. Got the little lettuce, the grilled chicken, the little whole wheat bun. Like, winning. <gasps> I miss saying my grace, oh Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for this food. Sanctify in Jesus' name I pray, amen. I gotta say that grace, honey. Mmm. 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 There we go. So, mm. so, my experience today at Chick fil A was horrible. I don't know what's going on. So, I went there and got my food. Went in this long line. Okay, y'all already, if you've been to Chick fil A one time, you already know about the line. Went there, the line was wrapped around the building. And then. They had nerve to not give me my fork for my mac and cheese. So then I had to drive all the way back around and I said, I'm not driving in the driveway. So I rolled my window down really nice. And it was like, um, yeah, I forgot my fork. And she was like, oh, I just rolled my window down. I was like, can you give me a fork? Cause I'm not about to, I'm not finna run. No, I'm not about to do this whole thing again. So can you pass me a fork? So that was taking way too long. My macaroni and cheese was getting cold. I saw all, I saw open pocket space, pulled up, walked my little nice self to the window and was like, can I just get a fork please? Cause you left my fork out of my bag. She was like, oh, I'm sorry. Got the fork in. So then I'm driving off. I usually check my food before I leave, but this time I didn't do it. I was really just, I don't know. Um, get out, about to park so I can talk to you guys while I'm eating my lunch. It's a fried chicken sandwich. And you know I eat fried food. And you know I was tempted. The devil was like, just eat it. I mean, it's already here. I feel like that was my test for the day. Maybe that was my test for the day, Lord. Deny that chicken sandwich, that fried chicken sandwich. And it was hot too, and it was thick and big. So then I had to go back, park my car this time, go inside. So then he upsized my small milkshake to a large and got my sandwich straight. But don't be, don't be all turned up. Cause I have been like that. And I've heard so many messages about not doing that. So I, I try not to do that anymore because you know, people make mistakes. People, we are not perfect people. And so, um, mm. Mmm. This is that juice. Did you see the juice and the sauce? Mmm, 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 mmm. I'm gonna go ahead and finish my lunch, and I'll see y'all when um when I get to the second Walmart. Hopefully, they have what I need. Because if not, I'm gonna really be upset. Like, really be upset. But I'm gonna see y'all when I get to the next door. I had to take them pin curls. I had to take those pins out of my hair, guys, because I 
was looking like somebody's ratchet aunt with them pins in my hair. I can't even believe I've been out this long with them in my hair. And I am here, but I have no comb. So if my hair is looking like a grandma, then it's because I had no comb to like separate the pin curls. So I'm just looking crazy, all kinds of crazy. Like what styles don't have a comb in her purse? This girl, because I've been wearing protective styles, I've been crocheting it up all year and I ain't have to have no comb. But I'm at Hobby Lobby. I don't know if y'all can see it. I don't know if y'all can see it or not, but I'm here. I'm about to go in to see if they have that stuff that I need for my vision board. This is vision. This is my vision board prep shopping day today, guys. And y'all are shopping with me and just getting to see if you if you shop with me, you already know. Like you know that I just be all over the place. And I will go all day long trying to find what I need for what I want. So, but um, yeah, but my hair is looking ooh. I look country, honey, because I ain't got no comb. So if your hair is fine like mine, like people always think, Today your hair is so thick. I have full hair. I have a lot of strands of hair where I used to have more before I was pregnant, before I had a baby. But um, yes, I have full hair, but my strands are very thin, like fine. And so I have to pin curl my hair or I'll use Velcro rollers to kind of keep the curl in and keep body in my hair. But usually I'll take my pin curls out like 30 minutes before I'm like about to go out somewhere and then I'll take them out, wrap my hair, wrap it, put my scarf or something on it while I'm getting ready. And then when I do that, it kind of falls out and it doesn't look as curly and country. But sometimes I don't have time to do that like today. And so now I'm looking a little country. but whatever i'm going to hobby lobby so you guys ready y'all ready to shop with me Can Hobby Lobby not have it? The world, I don't know what they're gonna do. Hobby Lobby don't got it. I don't know who who will have it. All right, guys, going to Walmart. Ah! <sighs> Long day, so I am back in Walmart at a different location, and I am on the aisle. I'm actually on the food storage aisle, guys. So if you guys were looking for it, it's in the houseware area in the food storage aisle. So I am looking, I am looking, I am looking. Please have it, please have it, please have it. Yeah, they do. They have it, guys. They have the one I want. See, it is worth the wait, guys. This is the one I wanted. Okay, so now I can get out of here and it's only $6. I decided to go with what I have, my cork board, because it has that cork thing on the back so then I can kind of stick stuff on it instead of like staple or something like that and mess up the, you know, well I couldn't be, I wouldn't be able to stick things on it and take it off with the frame. So with the cork board, it kind of works better. So I'm gonna put this over the cork board and start working on my pictures, print them out so they're nice and colorful and they're not just looking crazy. And yep, yeah, that's it guys. Thank you for shopping with me today. I actually went into two other stores, <laughs> Five and Below and Burlington's. And um, oh my God, my hair is just looking all kinds of crazy. Sorry guys, I mean, I really am a really dope hairstylist. 
You just can't tell by my hair today. But anyway, I will see you guys on my next video.